Let us try to do an example related to flank beam. The question asks us to check the adequacy of a flank beam. The beam is simply supported. The effective span is 6 meter. The concrete strength is 25. The specified U strength is 500 megapascal and the design UDL is 44 kilonewton per meter. You may pause the video for you to work out the solution. The calculation steps are as follow. You need to calculate the moment acting on a simply supported beam at the mixed band by using the equation of MED equals to WL square per 8. The moment was found as 198 kNm. Next, you find the care factor of the beam, which is found to be 0 0.047. By substituting the care into the equations, you will get the Z equals to 0 0.96D, which is more than 0 0.95D. For that, you will have to consider the lever arm as 0.95 d which is equal to by 504 next you need to find the positions of the stress plot by using this equation the outcome is 54 mm which is less than the height of the slab of 150 Therefore, you know that the stress block is within the flank. With that, you may calculate the area of the reinforcement by using these equations and it is found that the 903 mm2 is required. 2T25 was provided which is equivalent to 982 mm2 and it is greater than as provided. Therefore, the area of reinforcement bar is considered acceptable. You may proceed with checking of the serviceability of the section. Next, we need to design for the transverse reinforcement. In order to do so, we need to find data FD. For you to get data FD, you need data M. Theta M refer to the regional moment at the location when it is at theta X. With that, you have to find the theta X. Since the member is simply supported, the distance from zero moment to maximum moment will be equals to L per 2. Theta X will be half of that distance. With that, data x is obtained as 1.5 meter. The internal moment stress is determined by this equation. It is calculated based on the first principle, where your reaction R is multiplied with the distance of data x minus the UDL times the distance s multiply the centroid distance to the surface of the moment. You will get data moment equals to 148.5 kNm. The BF0 is determined by the width of the flank minus the width of the web divided by 2. You will get 175 mm. Substitute the relevant value into the equations and theta FD was obtained as 95.2 kN. Then you need to calculate the shear stress acting on the member. It is calculated based on these equations and you have all the relevant value already. Substitute the value, you get the shear stress is equal to 0.423. Compare the value with the 40% of FCTD. FCTD you can obtain from this equation, 
and FCK, FCTK you obtain from table 3.1 of Eurocode which is equals to 1.8 the 40% FCTD will be equals to 0 0.48 it is found greater than your share load with that no share reinforcement is required even so, you still need to provide a minimum amount of reinforcement bar. The minimum amount of reinforcement bar is given by AS min, as from these two equations. You may obtain FCTD from table 3.1 in Eurocode. Substitute all the relevant value, you will get 195 and 203 the bigger number applies the provided share area for T10300 is 262 mm square per meter which is greater than the minimum required area therefore the provided reinforcement bar for transverse reinforcement is acceptable